Another part of the song that's uh, kind of a little bit tricky, actually I think is a little bit trickier to play than, than it might sound, is the kind of a breakdowny kind of part. And we kind of explore three different feels for this part within the song. Um, coincidentally, this is actually one of the few bits of the album where I sort of wrote it. I came up with the rhythm, uh, but I came up with the rhythm on a computer. Uh, and so often when you do that, you come down to the kit and it's, and it's kind of more of a challenge than perhaps you had expected. Um, so there's three fills we explore with it. The first is kind of a loose, uh, spacey fill to it. And uh, I actually do a fill between the, the kick and the floor tom here, halfway through it, which, is, which exists as a result of me initially struggling with the double kick. So what I do is this. So yeah, I split it between the kick and the floor. So I do four kicks and then four on the floor. So I go. And because uh, that happened because the, the reason it's tricky rather is, is the little kick before the, the, the sort of flurry of sixteenths, I, sh I guess is the best way of putting it. So the rhythm being. So I don't have the luxury of that kind of control with my left foot. So uh, I had to play it all those little drop notes before the 16th with my, with my right foot. So it got kind of tricky. So that was the first feel. The second feel, it kind of has a trick start to it almost. Uh, it drops on the first beat, but kicks in really on the, on the snare. So it goes uh, one, two, three, four. So it kicks in on the three of the beat. So it goes like this. And then it going into the last feel of it, it has the same kind of thing. It has a, a sort of drop on the toms on the one and then ha kicks in on, on the snare again. So it goes like this. Um, Yeah, so that's uh, that part. Um, yeah, give it a go, start slow and um, just work up your speed and, uh, and post it on YouTube and show it to me. Cheers.